Hello world, Kodak here from Magazines and today we proudly present you what we believe is the world's smallest 16 step sequencer, mm. the Pico sequencer. It's a fully featured sequencer with advanced features like gate length, gate merge, pitch slides, scales, randomization and save load function with 16 memory slots. And now let's take a closer look to all of the features. To enter the notes in sequence, move through the steps with step encoder and set the desired note with value encoder. Now I have programmed a simple 8 step sequence, which you might even recognize. Now I push the value encoder and it lights up in red, which means that now it's adjusting the gate length. If you turn it fully clockwise, the S symbol appears on display, which means that the gate is merged with the next one in the sequence. Now I push the value encoder for one more time and it lights up in yellow color, which means that now I can turn on or off the pitch light for each of the steps. Also, when you scroll through the steps, the value encoder LED changes its brightness regarding to the value set on each of the steps. More dimmed LED means that the value is lower and brighter LED indicates a higher value. Also when in gate mode, you can mute the steps by turning the encoder counterclockwise. There's 10 predefined scales in the Pico sequencer module. To set the scale, push the step encoder 3 times or until it lights up in yellow and then choose the scale by turning the same encoder. I have selected scale number 5, which as you see allows me to enter only semitones. way you can achieve musical results just by entering random notes into the sequence. Sequence length, push the encoder once or until it lights up in green and set the desired step length by turning the encoder to left or right. Maximum step length is 16 steps and minimum is 1 step. The dot by the number in display indicates the steps 9 to 16, which comes after the first 8 steps. So for example, if you want to have 9 step sequence, the number in display should be 1 with a dot. Transpose the sequence, hold on the value encoder and turn the step encoder to left or right. When the value encoder is released, the sequencer will get back to previous state. This is useful in a performance situation. If you want to save the transpose setting, press the step encoder while holding the value encoder.
to set the play mode, push the encoder two times or until it lights up in red. Now by turning the encoder you can choose from five different play modes. Backwards, forward, ping pong, ping pong with last step repeat and random. Now I'm using VCL to trigger the sequencer's clock. To show you that the sequencer can easily be triggered with almost any type of positive voltage signals. To randomize a pattern, you need to press the R and D button and it will randomize all values and pattern. It selected scale and octave range. Set the octave range, press and hold the R&D button and turn the step encoder. For example, if you were looking for acid bass lines, set the octave range to 3, as the Roland 303 had only 3 octaves. Scale selection works the same way as in normal step edit mode. Also, if the pattern length is set to 8 steps, the r and button will anyway randomize all 16 steps, so you can increase the pattern length later. As you can hear, thanks to the scales, the random function can deliver some pretty cool patterns really fast. To save a pattern, press the load save button two times, or till the step encoder starts to blink in red, and then using the step encoder select the save slot, and by pushing it, save your pattern. To load the pattern from memory, push the load save button once or till the step starts to blink in green. Then select the slot and push the encoder. Pico sequencer can be used as a clock modulation source too. To get a nice smooth CV output, press and hold the r and button and turn the step knob clockwise until the S-like symbol appears. That means that all the steps will now be randomized, with slice setting enabled on all of the steps. I will now patch the sequencer CV out into the CV in of the filter. With random play mode on, you can get almost sample and hold style modulations.
shape the LFO, just edit the notes on each step like you would normally do when sequencing a VCO. That's it for today. Have fun.